Welcome back to Paranormasite! Well, last time our uh, story chart opened up considerably. I... Too, too bad for Shogo Okie, but we've got Hare, Shikima, Tetsuo Tsutsumi, and Yako Sakazaki to look into today. I still can't get over that our main character is already dead. Well... That slays me. That's, well, he's just one of many main characters. Who knows what what's going to happen to these three? So we'll start today with Hare, Hare Shikima's Not Dreams. The son of Hare Shigema was kidnapped. A botched investigation by the police resulted in the child's murder. Ooh. One year later, Harue has hired a private investigator to help resolve the unsettled case. Late at night, while speaking to the detective at her home, something strange suddenly <laughs> appears. Yes. What could it be? Methinks it's a curse. Well, uh, I mean, hey, I made those Zumok fires uh, perish in flame. Called it. Kill them. Kill them? The flame bearers kill them all. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, we can kill those with fire or a fire starting device on their person. Cool. So that's why we were able to die when we met her in in the last episode. Because we had a lighter. We had a lighter. We tossed a lighter and then she can't curse us. And then we curse the one who would curse us. Murderous impulse seeps into my soul like thick black tar. I love that line. <laughs> Now, kill! This is a happy fire ghost. Can you hear it, curse bearer? You, who so strongly desire the right, kill them. NBD. Yeah, just kill them. Just kill them. That's all I gotta do. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Here, watch. <laughs> See? Easy. Alright, Harue. Where are we heading? We are at her mansion. Mm. Oh, rich mama. Back ba with me, ma'am. Back with me, ma'am. Can't say I understand what just happened. It certainly seems to have put you in a good mood. This might be the first time I've ever seen you really smile. Yeah. Uh huh. Y yeah, it comes so naturally now. She looks like she's in a stupor. Housewife! Hare Shigima! No. Not dreams. Sounds like something I might want to hear about. So anyway, a ghost possessed me and wants me to kill. The oh. Alright. Let's have a chat with Richter to start things off. Let me bring you up to speed. We were in the middle of a chat when you suddenly started spacing out. Uh, the whole time you were grinning to yourself like you just won the lottery. Uh, Can you tell me what that was all about? Well, where to start? I did win the lottery. Wow, cha-ching, I'm rich. Wow, I can buy a second mansion. <laughs> yeah, interesting, very interesting. Nah. So the haunting clapper's curse echo appeared out of nowhere. Told you how to perform the rite of resurrection and gave you the curse you'll need to do it. Have I got that right? That's right. So it's all real. Honestly, I still find it hard to believe. But I guess I have to now. I saw that curse stone appear in your hand myself. I was just about to question why he's going along with it. It looked like it popped clean out of thin air. Huh. With evidence that clear, there's no denying that there's some supernatural force at work. Very awesome. Okay. This universe is very okay with uh, supernatural things uh, oh, happening. I was about to say, normal people would just be freaking out. Yeah, really. This isn't about evidence, and it isn't about, about belief. It's about revenge. It's more than that. I know it's real. <laughs> that face. I love her faces. Yeah, me too. The moment the curse appeared, I knew everything before it even said a word. Oh! Oh! It was already there in my head, as clear as day. It looks like it didn't have to think too hard to mesh with this curse. You just knew, huh? It was etched onto my soul, along with the cursed Echo's resentful memories. So I can feel it. What it was like. <coughs> Dying like they did hundreds of years ago. They burned me because I was bald! <laughs> Wreathed in flame, writhing in pain as my flesh blackens and my blood boils. Is that what's happening? It just hurts! Ah! <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it more! <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> all the agony, all the rage. I agony! agony! It's mostly agony! Ah! <laughs> it fills me with bloodlust. Oh, she is out for blood. I guess you could be mad for me! Ah! Uh-huh. <laughs> I think I need to kill someone. I think uh, you need to put me out! <laughs> ah! Water, 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 water. <laughs> Anyone will do, just as long as they're carrying fire. Okay, take out my Zippo lighter and my, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, uh, another big lighter. And, and uh, uh, just... oh, oh, wait, behind my ear. Oh, oh my God, it's an old-fashioned lighter. Oh, get, get rid of that. Get rid of that? Well, that? I see, that could be a problem. You think so? From what I know of you, you smoke. I'm sure you'd see it as an opportunity. I like to chew on the cigarettes, just... <laughs> cheaper than chewing tobacco! Yeah, I was just about to say <laughs> You're a little paper in there, too. It's great. The stronger the desire to resurrect someone, the stronger the, the urge to kill. That's how it seems to me, anyway. Good grief. Talk about a spanner in the works. I say we take stock for a moment. Remind ourselves wh where we've come from and where we're going. That... Might be a good idea, then. Let me spell it out for you, player. This is an exposition dump. Oh, is it really? Oh, yep. About the investigation. That's what you hired me for, ma'am. To look into your son's kidnapping last year. To uncover the truth behind the abduction and murder of Shuichi Shigima. Oh, yes. I remember. Oh, yes. I remember. Yes. Sorry, I just threw out a Craigslist ad for something <laughs> and somebody found it. They never did find the one who did it. That's what I'm here about today, in fact. Kind of you to let me drop by so late, by the way. I've been turning over every last stone, and I've come up with a grand total of... Zero leads! One lead! Holy shit! We actually found one! So you said. As far as the police are concerned, it's a cold case, but I've managed to make some headway. I remember. You were just about to tell me. And then the whole curse thing happened, you know. Oh yeah, it, a slight distraction. As you do in these kinds you know, of stories. Some guy burning... <laughs> in giant flames. I suppose there's not much point going over in the kidnapping itself, you know, the way your son was kidnapped and murdered because... No, uh, I'm very familiar. Then I'll leave that for the files to cover and just confirm a few things about the case. Police trace the culprit's calls back to, let's see here, uh, Northern Oyoko River here in Sumida City. It's quite a wide area. That's right. In the end, they never managed to nail down exactly where the calls were coming from. But it was almost certainly the same location that Shuichi was being held captive and Shuichi's voice could be heard during the killer's calls. Mm. Northern Oyoka River is quite a distance from Shuichi's normal school commute. Factoring in that he was seen at school but went missing before he arrived at this house. It's likely that he was abducted by car on his route home. Maybe, but... Exactly. Shuichi was a clever boy. He never would have gotten into a car with a stranger. That's right. I was very firm about that. I know he understood, too. I even saw him warning the other children. Good boy. It's possible that they forced him into the car. The only issue there is there weren't any witnesses to the kidnapping. Can't bundle someone into a car with that many students around and not be noticed. Hmm. But nobody came forward to say they saw anything suspicious. So did they target him at some other time or somewhere away from his usual route? Both of those seem a little far-fetched. Hmm. Which raises the question, how did the kidnapper pull it off? Hmm. The police never managed to find an answer. In the end, they decided that the kidnapper must have just gotten lucky. Well, why not turn the problem on its head? What do you mean? Huh? You mean turn upside down while talking about this? Gotcha. The Rite of Resurrection, huh? I read about that in a cult magazine the other day. Apparently, some old books showed up recently with all the gory details. And they say that the Rite can be found somewhere in Hanjo. I remember the first time you told me about that. It felt like... Like my prayers had been heard. To kill someone in fire. Like I hope, real... Like I had hope, real hope for the first time. You can't immolate someone and bring your son back, lady, I'm sorry. Oh, bring him back from the hellfires. Just gotta make a simple sacrifice. Ever since that awful day, I've wondered. What if I hadn't sent him to school? You would have, he would have been called a truant and you would have gone to jail? What if I had just paid the ransom? You'd be living in a box. Not a day goes by when I don't think that if I'd done something differently, Shuichi would still be alive. I, I love the grief they put into her face, though. It's just the... She looks like she hasn't slept in five weeks. I don't think she's slept since it happened. Yeah. And I love how they, how they convey that. 
as her tired looks, her empty eyes, but there's still a glimmer of hope in them. Buried underneath the darkness. Well, it was a culprit's fault, not yours. Though, I know that won't help any. Grief is funny like that. Grief isn't funny. I'm guessing that's why you're after the right? Correct. Then she has faces like that. I guess I didn't need to ask. It's written all over your face. Where? Where? D n no, what? Oh, figure of speech, got it. I can tell how much he meant to you. And she's like, she's about to burst crying. Yeah, any there's minute. still anguish in there. Ooh, I love, I love her. But, and this is a big but. Can I lie? If this right is the real deal, using it will mean killing someone and stealing their soul. If you find me the kidnapper, I'm more than willing. Is that a problem? <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that's spicy. That's a mother's love right there. Fuck everybody else for my son. If it comes to that, I'm afraid I'll have to stop you. Oh, that's a shame. A shame, huh? That's all? I thought if I'm going to be competing with other curse bearers, then your detective skills might come in useful. What, you think I'm gonna help you cover up a murder? You realize that you're talking about ending someone's life, right? Don't you see an issue with that? Maybe. I think any parent in my position would happily kill for a chance like this. She's not wrong. That's so, is it? Eh, dear, oh dear, what have I got myself into? Damnindeed.com ad. The kidnapper managed to convince Shuichi to get into their car, but how? The only thing that makes sense to me... Is it was somebody familiar. Is yep. if they were somebody that he would have a reason to trust. A teacher, perhaps, or a relative, or somebody else that he knew. But all of the adults Shuichi knew had alibis. The police checked them all thoroughly. Mm-hmm. They did, huh? No one throws numbers at a problem like the cops. But what if it wasn't someone he knew? Or rather... What if the culprit disguised themselves as a police officer? <laughs> that would explain why he didn't find them suspicious. Hmm. Shigima family has close ties with the police, after all. He would have had reason to trust them. You might be right, but surely that couldn't have... Well, there's a problem with that theory. You'd be surprised how much police officers stand out. That's sort of the point, after all. They're meant to be a visible deterrent against crime. But here's another interesting little bit of trivia I happen to know. When you ask people to imagine someone suspicious, nobody pictures women or children. Hmm. Even kids who've been warned about stranger danger often subconsciously expect that danger to look like an adult man. Ooh. Besides, Shuichi was the sort of boy who wanted to be a police officer when he grew up. He must have had a very strong sense of, of right and wrong. That's right. Wait, surely you can't mean... Now you're getting it. If, say, a young woman approached Shuichi asking for help, what would he have done? Jump to it. Yep. Shit. Someone like that says they were lost and asked him for directions. Would he have gotten into a car? He might have. Because he was still a foolish boy. A good boy with a good heart. But he didn't have the wisdom. My husband always told him that a man had a duty to watch out for women and children. You could certainly argue that kind of attitude is outdated nowadays, but if Shuichi believed it, then we might have something here. Then you think the culprit was a young woman? But it was a man's voice on the phone. Group them together. She yeah, might an have an accomplice, or maybe she didn't even realize she was being used. If anything, that would explain why she hadn't come forward. She herself might not realize she had anything to do with the case. Oh, I like kind of wish that we'd have all in one go here, instead of just kind of well, keep digging at one yeah, question. But it, that's that's an old style of visual novel. It's one long dialogue in that case. That's but... a, that's an old style. This guy worked on visual novels like that ilk. So the question is: Did anyone see Shuichi speaking with a young woman on the day of his disappearance? You see, what I said about people's biases that goes for witnesses too. And I figured that maybe if I started asking new questions, I might get some new answers. So I spent my day asking around Shuichi's school route, seeing if anyone had seen something. 
Hmm. And one man thought he had. Ooh, there was even a little delay. Do you mean he saw it happen? Well, I can't say that for sure yet. It turned out he wanted something from me, so he asked if we could talk in private. Uh, earlier that day. Several hours earlier. Hey, can you sell me this bridge? It's a All good right. bridge. This should do. There's no one. There's no one around. We can speak in confidence. There. Um, excuse me. Uh, what was your name again? Detective. That. What? Janochi. Got it. Well, Janochi, I'm all ears. Mm, just so we're on the same page. You're a private detective investigating Shuichi Shigima's kidnapping. Do I have that right? Of course. What else do I look like? A narc. How should I know what a private detective looks like? Oh, forget it. Look, I'll tell you straight. My life is in danger. I need your help. Eh? Huh? Excuse me if that caught me a little off guard. Let me ask you straight. Who was trying to kill you? <laughs> a student called Michio Shir uh, Shiraishi. Interesting. A schoolgirl, huh? Sounds like you've been naughty. It's nothing like that. That girl, she's a murderer. I'm the only one who knows, but I saw what she did. Michio Shiraishi. I saw her kidnap Shuichi Shigima. Ooh. Come again? Ooh. I saw her talk to him on the street and lead him away. I didn't think much of it at the time, but then he went missing. She murdered him. I'm sure of it. Or at least she's got something to do with it. That's what you're here for, isn't it? That you can't let her get to me. If that's true, you've been sitting on some valuable information. Why didn't you tell anybody? Well, you see... If you can't explain that, I don't have any reason to believe you. I couldn't! She, she told me she'd kill me if I spoke a word! You're telling me a schoolgirl had you scared for your life? How far back do the curse bearers go? So you've been sitting on that all this time, and you think she's coming for you now that you've spilled the beans? Yes, that's it, exactly! I beg you! Don't let her get me! Arrest her! I'm telling you, she's a demon! Well, you seem to believe what you're saying, but it just doesn't add up. How could a schoolgirl have a fully grown man so terrified? She called me an idiot on social media! You don't know what she could do! She'll... she'll curse me! There's no social media in this day and age. Oh, that's true, that's true. Curse you! I'm sorry, but you're losing the heel. <laughs> it's true! Her house, it's... Oh, forget it. Why do I even bother? You seem dubious enough to believe me, but I should have known you'd never understand. Enough. I'll find someone else to help me. Hey! Um... I heard that! So you told me to tell me that some nerd is in trouble with the- Oh wait, wait a minute! I that... can hardly believe it. An actual nerd out in the sunlight. At the time, I thought his mention of curses was just crazy talk. But I'm starting to see that there might have been more to it. Then, if we can just find that girl... Curse or no curse, if she was with Shuichi on the day of the kidnapping... And there's a good chance she knows something. On top of that, I did some digging on the man I spoke to. His full name's Kohei Jonochi. He's a teacher at Komagata High School here in Sumia. Ooh, a teacher? Then this schoolgirl... Is one, is one of his students? I think that's very likely. Mm. Let's look around a little bit. Rotary phone. The telephone. Ancient history. Fax machine. Fax machine. Ancient history. Most houses don't have one. Then and now. Hmm. Oh. Nope. Oh. Oh. Hello. Free advertising. 
We're not gonna, we're, we're not gonna be getting all these, but uh, there's something called uh, mocking birds. Oh. Is there a collectible counter? That is indeed a collectible. We're not going to be getting all of them, because okay. we're playing the Switch version, doesn't really matter, but... Hey, look at that there! Head Hencho! <laughs> That's pretty good. Don't tell me you never heard of the Mockingbirds! They're the hottest new craze, yeah! It's, it's, it, there's a... There's a it's, it, like, I, I played another game, Chaos Child, that was obsessed with these kinds of newfangled stickers. I wonder if this is just a recent fad in current day Japan. Well, I think it's supposed to be like, you know, late 70s, early 80s, though. Because we got fax machines, but uh, color TVs are still a commodity. You know, we got, te we got telephones, but no cell phones. Huh. I think it's to escape some of the uh, easy way outs of modern. Like, you know, oh, I can just use my cell phone. Oh, there's a lot of people who live here, and everyone sees, and it's on social media, and, everyone, and we can look at all that now. Huh. All right, I'll talk more to this guy. Ah, still more. If it makes you uncomfortable, then you won't have to get any blood on your hands yourself. I don't need you to kill the other curse bearers. I only need you to find them. I won't be part of the murder, ma'am, not even for a client. Hmm. That's a shame. I see. I didn't realize you were so stubborn. Let me say, though, it's not like I don't get what you're going through. As long as you're not killing anyone with your own hands, maybe I can help you out. What do you have in mind? Well, how about stealing someone else's curse stone after they filled it with soul drags? Hmm. If that was all you were after, then I could lend you my services guilt-free. The other curse bearers want to kill each other? That's their business. I'm not trying to be a hero here. I guess there's no guarantee a stolen curse stone will work, but... You can worry about that later. Well then, I suppose we have a deal. Although, what if I stole the curse stone using my curse? Would you disapprove? What I don't know won't hurt me. I would void our contract, ma'am. Just warning you now. My. Hey, there we go. All right, right directions. What about uh, my curse? Before we go any further, why don't you tell me about that curse of yours? Yeah, haunting clappers. Yes, oh, speed. It's a uh, hit fast forward a little bit here. Why? We're having fun. All right, fine. My name would be the curse bearers. Me, Summer, and Hojo. That's we just got a lot to get through, you know. But I'm saying, all right, all right. Our first move should be to narrow them down. Some of them are bound to try and come for you first. We need to be ready. The curses make their bearers more willing to kill, so an attack could come from anywhere. Like the ceiling! <laughs> that sounds sensible. Oh, we could still learn about our curse. And if I remember correctly, your haunting clappers can set people on fire, but only if they have a naked flame or a lighter on their person. Is that right? That's right. In olden times, wooden clappers were used to warn people of fire. I guess it's punished as those who don't heed the warning. Seems like a good curse to have. It's simple and straightforward enough to use. Although it's hard to say how it stacks up without knowing what else is on the table. You really think it's that good? The target can't do much to throw it off, and it has a nice long activation window. It's big that it works on lighters, too. Just slip one into your target's pocket. And say the condition were already fulfilled before they even knew you there knew you you're there. They wouldn't even know what hit them. Or Immolated them. Maybe I won't. I I won't have to actually use it. I love the the visualization of somebody just bursting into flames in the middle of a park. Ah! I could just tell someone. Well, yeah, you can just tell them that. You know, hey, I'll use my curse if you don't do what I say. Uh... That's good work. Although without any proof, it'll come down to how convincing you can be. Well, you could use the curse then back out at the last second. At the last second. What an interesting idea. I have a lighter right here. We could try it now. That's an interesting proposition. Put your life on the line. But maybe not. I'm not quite crazy enough to make myself a guinea pig. Yeah. Oh, I see. Sorry. You're an odd one, ma'am, if you don't mind me saying. I don't think it's just the curse. I think you've gone insane with grief. You flatterer. Sure. Uh-huh. Anyway. Next, first of all, I think you should stay indoors. Try not to do anything spontaneous or outside of your normal routine. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Yeah, about the kidnapping? At last, though, we've got a lead. Hopefully, it'll be the breakthrough we've been looking for. And investigation! We'll wrap it up. Right then, have you decided what you want me to work on? Uh... Yeah, whichever. They're both important. Uh, investigate the kidnapping. I think it's important. Finally. Fi finally, I have a lead. I need to know what happened to my son. Your wish is my command, man. Here, hold this lighter. <laughs> I'll focus all my efforts on looking into the kidnapping. Although, something just occurred to me. You can't investigate the matter at night, can you? At least until the sun rises. Could you search for the other curse bearers? <laughs> Alright. I see how it is. Well, I'd be happy to help. Odds are good that the other curse bearers are also working by night. Anyone they kill under the cover of darkness won't be discovered until sunrise. I bet they'll be trying to do as much as they can before morning comes. So it's settled then. I'll look into the other curse bearers by night. And once the city wakes up and I can start asking questions, I'll investigate the kidnapping as well. Cool, two I'll for even, one deal. I'll even try and find Miss Shiraishi as part of the bargain. Thank you, that's more than enough. I think he's effective. See, a good visual novel has a, a a good detective character to keep things going. Keep the intrigue up. I guess we gotta look at it now. Wow, look at that necklace! Wow! <laughs> Not very well known, but he's good at what he does. I'd, I'd say he is. He's impressed me so far. I could hardly believe he was a detective. Yeah, same. It's it's the hat. If he didn't have the hat, I'd, he'd, yeah. he'd, he'd just be a bad Louis Serra uh, cosplayer. A little rough, don't you think? Says some strange things at times, but he seems like a reliable sort. So far, so good. Nice. All are right. We, are, are, are we done here? Now, now then. then. I should get to work. There's only so much time before sunrise. I'll call you if I find anything new. You stay here and keep a lookout. All right. There's no telling what kinds of curses you might find out on these streets tonight. Don't go outside if you can, if you can help it, and try to be ready for anything. I will. Well, if that's all, I should be going. Milady. Oh, ta-da! Oh, okay. A new tile. All right, now it's time for Hare Shigima's a nice thought. She certainly is. So by having obtained the curse of the haunting clappers, she's determined to use the right of resurrection by stealing the remaining curse stones. So. Right after that conversation, and he leaves, she just kind of hangs around. Well, what if I go outside anyway? No. What if no. I just open the door D don't, and don't. then exit no, stage you left? Do not do that. Wow. Should not be done. Stop. No. It's almost been an hour since Richter left. He promised he called if anything happened. But he hasn't. So nothing's happening. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, wait. It's just, uh... Yeah, what should we do? Just, oh, uh, a newspaper. Yeah, it's a little newspaper here. I guess I shall read the newspaper. What's this? Oh. Print. On paper. Let's read it! I would love if a bad ending was not reading the newspaper. <laughs> you weren't updated on the news! Hmm. Flip through the pages. Let's uh, read the society articles. Okay. City's biggest problem right now is pollution and, <laughs> and people just falling over dead. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Get that stuff cleaned. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely the 70s. That was a problem way yeah. back then. That's huge. That's why we started to go green. Uh, well, there's got to be more than just pollution in the society articles. I mean, come on. There's one thing Honda never wants for, it's horrific crimes, certainly. Well... Sheesh. Got a police officer dead in a local park the other day. How can you can believe that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I hear Probably that. for the best, yeah. I hear that. Well, maybe there's something else in the society articles that... Oh, the obituaries. Out. Suicide at local high school. Uh oh I yeah, a high school girl was jumped off a roof about a week ago. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, things things are bad over there. You don't, no one ever cares about the bully mm. or the downtrod. Wait for it. And big reveal. Yep. 
Papa. Yikes. Well, that's uh, confusing, to say the least. That's disheartening, is what it is. Huh. When was this printed? When are uh. they going to call me? Richter. Ah! Perfect timing. No, answer this the answer the phone. Do nothing. Answer the phone. Uh, what do I do with this? I mean, no one ever calls anymore. <laughs> clang, clang. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, right. Hello, Shijima residence. To be continued. Wait, really? Oh yeah. Some time passes. That was indeed Richter calling. Oh, good, good. Meet me at Komagata Bridge. As in, come, I gotta tell you something. Richter, there's something I need to tell you. Funny. I was thinking the same thing. Did he read our newspaper? Oh, wait. Uh, ooh. Look at the surroundings first. What we got here? Komagata Bridge over the Sumida River. It's looking nice. All lit up at night. It's a highway on one side, freeway on the other, and they're both deserted. Lovely. Oh, Sumita look. River. A new body has floated the up from the bottom. The water is filthy and horrid. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's the Lake Erie of rivers. Oh, gross. And she's something, ma'am. What? Is the Sumita River what you Honjo folks picture when you think of home? I couldn't say. All I can tell you is... That I can hardly stand the sight of it. It's the smell for me, ma'am. <laughs> Woo! Right, should have guessed. This is uh, was where they found him after he went missing. All alone, floating in that horrible water. All I can think is how scared he must have been, how cold he must have been. What did he ever do to deserve something so awful? I've come here every day since then. And I prayed to the river to give him back. To give me back my son. Day after day after day. Mm hmm. You know, in olden times, people believe rivers marked where our world meets the next. Hmm. So the act of crossing flowing water had a huge amount of spiritual significance. Back when Edda was founded, people of Chuo saw the Sumida River the same way. They associated the far side of the river with the afterlife. That same place would later become Honjo. All their fear and revulsion accumulated there and took root. Ooh. But then the Ryogoku Bridge sprang up after the great fire of Merik uh, Meireki. And just like that, Honjo was part of the city too. Nice. And as it turned from farmland into a town, the people surrounded it with man-made man rivers and crisscrossed it with canals and waterways. Weren't those to prevent flooding? That's what I was told. They were, but that's not all they were used for. Their other purpose was to contain all the corruption that had built up on the far shore and stop it leaking through to our side of the Great Divide. Officially, they were a physical barrier, but unofficially, they were a spiritual one, too. So, if I have this right... Are you saying that Hanjo is a place where the real world meets the afterlife? Exactly. That's why the Rite of Resurrection is here, rather than anywhere else. I'm sure of it. It's probably where the Seven Mysteries and their curses have survived to the modern day. And I guess that would make this spot we're standing now, right over the water, the border between life and death. Ooh. If there ever was a place where bringing back the dead might be possible, I reckon it's here. It's funny that you mentioned praying to the river. That might have done more than you think. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Just thinking aloud, ma'am. Hmm. Well, it's a nice thought. Ah, title drop! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> There's one more memory I have of this river. Do you mind if I tell you? Well, I got a, nothing better to do, ma'am, so go ahead. It must have been about 20 years now, when I was still a schoolgirl. Back then, the Sumida River was much filthier than it is now. 
It was full of garbage and industrial discharge. It was scummy and slimy and it stank. You mean it's not now, ma'am? I, I mean, go, go ahead, go ahead. You could look out over the water and see dead cats and dogs and pigeons just floating. Ugh. That's very gross. And one day, among all the filth and garbage, there was a piece of my missing classmate's hand! What? It was almost a miracle when you stopped to think about it. What's a bad miracle? What were the chances that someone would find a part of her that was still recognizable? Jesus Christ! And that, although everything but the palm had rotted away in the water, the part that was left would have been an identifiable scar. And that they could tell it had been a murder from the blade marks on the bone. Yeah. Jesus! Wait, are you talking about the Nejima murders? Ooh, more intrigue. So, uh, so you've heard of it. I'm impressed. I assume you were but an elementary schooler at the time. I wasn't really aware of it then. I'd only heard about it after the fact. I had no idea the victim was a classmate of yours. So just holding on to that, too. Okay, to be honest, it was all a bit of a blur. The death in this river follow her. <laughs> if only she turned out to be the murderer. A wave of chaos just parting around me. I don't know. I don't think she murdered her own, her own yeah, child. Yeah, I, I, I doubt. Got, I got a f her eyes tell me something different. <laughs> her eyes tell me she is done. They uh, said the rest of her body must have sunk to the bottom of the... Jesus. God. They combed the riverbed, but only ever found pieces? Everything else must have rotted and flowed out to sea. Afterwards, I heard that all the divers who had been looking for her felt... ill. Sorry story for everyone involved, huh? Yikes. It's funny. Everyone figures the river's filthy already, so one more piece of garbage won't hurt. Every little bit makes it worse. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah. And I wouldn't want to go rooting around down there myself. Yeah, no kidding. That's right. Which is why the riverbed is the last place anyone would go looking. Or so was the killer's thinking, I suppose. The times were changing quickly back then. Things were confusing. Everyone seemed to be in a hurry. Young people were moving to Tokyo in droves. Some even ran away from home to make it in the big city. And they made easy targets for bad people. A lot of them ended up disappearing without a trace. Uh, Was the 70s just a place to kill young people? There are a lot of messed up murders in Japan. If you chopped a body up into pieces and threw it in the river, it would rot quickly and discreetly and sink to the bottom, never to be seen again. Was their riverbed basically acid? <laughs> Well, I mean, no one would ever look in there, because it's just full of scum and shit. No, but are you saying what I think you're saying? They arrested him shortly after. Fumichika Nijima. The man who killed my classmate and cut her into pieces. He was so methodical about it, it couldn't have been his first crime. And people began to wonder how many other girls he'd murdered the same way. The police never found any evidence of other murders in the end. But the river knows the truth. Yeah, I think it's sentient at this point with how much crap is in it. Look, go ahead. <laughs> the river says, Feed me another! Uh, uh, we should go home now. Uh, All right. Yeah, let's get yeah, out of here. All right. How many corpses has it swallowed up over the years, I wonder? Fifteen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then you just hear a belch from the river. <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> Same thought spread through everyone's mind as they started to avoid this area. So really... This river has been at rank with corruption for decades now. We should drain it and turn it into a mini mall. Or at least that's how it seems to me. Well, was that interesting? Uh, it was eye opening. Rightfully terrified, ma'am. Yep. I can see why you don't have any good memories of this river. Scared shitless. Okay. With all that darkness lurking beneath the surface, there's no reason that you would. Still, if I may, ma'am, I'm surprised you know so much about the Nejima murders. My maiden name is Nejima, but how could I not? After all, I was the one who found the hand. Oh, I thought we already knew that. <gasps> the police actually wrote me a thank you let- Oh my god. They said it was only thanks to me that they managed to bring Nejima to justice. That was the only time my father ever said he was proud of- Jesus. More uh, trauma. Man, just- Are you trauma dumping on me, ma'am? I guess it just wasn't the killer's day. Sometimes I wonder if he resents me for it. 
Well, anyway, let's... Uh... But that was a lot. <laughs> All right, well... Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, information, you go first. Please, go ahead, yes. Uh, all right, all right then. I've been poking around places connected to the Seven Mysteries, looking for curse bearers. And I think I found a few candidates. All right, let's go over the list here. First, a tall man I ran into Kinshibori Park. I asked him for directions, trying to probe him a little, but he turned the questions right back around on me. And he was out of there the second he figured I wasn't what he was looking for. Mm. I got the sense curses were nothing new to him. I'm about 40% sure he's a curse bearer. But we killed him and he wasn't. Least, oh, he wasn't? Well, at least he hasn't done anything much to get a lot of soul dregs. Ah, so. uh, that's, that's true, that's true. And there's this middle-aged guy I saw on South uh, Wadigasui Street. There's no question about this one. He had one of the curse stones in his hand. He had a mm. nervous air about him, too. It was clear he was up to some shady business. Gathering soul dregs, I bet. You make a good target. Huh. Oh! Next up is a pair. A young man and woman I saw around Ryogoku Bridge. This time, the man came up to me and asked me flat out if I was a curse bearer. I told him I didn't know what he was talking about, and he backpedaled and left. <laughs> Looks like they lurk around there often, looking for kindred spirits would be my guess. Though it didn't seem like they were quite working as a pair. Gathering soul dregs in a group might be a decent idea if you can make it work. But with things being how they are, it's gotta be hard to find folks one can trust. They've got brass, though. I don't know what their deal is, but I'd like to find out. Hmm. Ah! Last two detectives I've seen sniffing around. Police are no. The police are involved? Not necessarily. The body turned up in a local park a few days ago, so they might just be looking into that. Still, the park's got ties to one of the seven mysteries. Might be it was a curse that did the guy in. And if they're sending in detectives from the head office, then something's gotta be up. Yeah, bigger conspiracy. How do you know where they're from? Let's just say that when you're in this business, there are some faces you get to know. Well known, okay. Anyway, that's everyone who caught who's caught my eye. You found all of them in so little time. I really did hire the best. It's all in the name, ma'am. Richter Kai P I. R K P I. Nice. Richter Kai P. <clears throat> uh, no, wait. Uh, no, wait. No, wait. Make uh, that uh, Richter Kai, Investigator Extraordinaire. Okay, now you're pushing it. An Investigator Extraordinaire. Is that why you can dress like that without drawing attention to yourself? Very chuny bio of you, Richter. You bet an investigator as extraordinaire can blend in like a chameleon in any outfit. Well, that aside. I like how she's more like amused by that. It's like, oh, that's hi. cute. Hi, okay. Anyway, the middle aged man <laughs> and the young couple sound the most promising, am I right? Whichever, whichever, we, we, whichever we pick, it's still too early to make a move. It seems that the curse bearers are less involved with each other than we thought. I hate it, but I love it. <laughs> Plus, still. there's still others we don't know about. I say we hang fine. We hang fire and see how things play out. Once more bodies start showing up, that'll get the pot nice and hot. And once it's boiling, our chance will come. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Something I need to tell you. What's up? Well... That girl, Michio Shiraishi. The one who was with Shuichi on the day of the kidnapping? Shiraishi. That sounds better. Shiraishi. That's her. Well, she's dead. She's what? The student who committed suicide last week. That was her. I heard something like that happened. Never got the name, though. Talk about bad luck. I finally get a lead, only to find it's turned into a literal dead end. Unless her death was the whole reason Jonah she was so shaken up. Ooh. He said she was going to curse him. Was he talking about her taking revenge from beyond the grave? Huh, it seems like we're back to where we started. Not necessarily. That teacher knows something, I'm sure of it. At the very least, I put money on him having something to do with Miss Shiraishi's death. That's why he's so scared of being cursed by her. I see. And also, something tells me he knows more about your son's kidnapping. In any case, I think I got a good idea of what he's hiding. Call it a hunch. It's a hunch. A hunch? Yes, exactly. Well, more of a theory. Care to take a guess? Uh, well, what is it, a hunch, a theory, or a guess? I have a hunch that you don't know what you're talking about. I can guess. I can't say for certain, certain but... but... Mr. Jonochi silenced Michio Shiraishi with, with blackmail. Ooh. What if Mr. Jonoji silenced Michio Shiraishi with blackmail? What do you think? 
exactly my thinking! Oh, well. Don't you know about Miss Shiraishi's connection to the kidnapping? And he used that to blackmail her into doing his bidding. It made her feel so trapped she took her own life to escape. Well, that's my read on it. How despicable. Well, it's just a theory. Right now, I think we need to have another chat with Mr. Janochi. Cool, let's go find him. Is something wrong? Uh, not really. It just struck me. It's been 20 <laughs> years since the Nejima murders. It's just struck me. <laughs> so it has. Not to spook you or anything, but I thought you might be interested in you might be interested in knowing. Hmm. Life in prison doesn't always mean life. There's precedent for first-time offenders being allowed on parole after 20 years. Jesus. Only if they're found to show remorse and the desire to reform themselves, of course. That's right. I'm impressed you know so much. <laughs> Still, it's hard for someone with a criminal record to reintegrate into society. I hear they've been trying to fix that recently, matching inmates with jobs and accommodation. Oh, really? I keep an eye on them, of course, and make, re make them report in for regular checkups. But to avoid discrimination, they keep the inmates' records a secret from everyone but their employers. They even give particularly notorious criminals new identities so they won't be recognized in the workplace. Hmm, my. The way you put it. It's like you're saying Fumichika Nijima could be out on parole right now. Back in society under a new name, with nobody any the wiser. It's possible. As it happens, little Birdie told me about a big name making parole a few months back. I don't know if that was Nejima, but our discussion just now did bring it to mind. I see. How unsettling. Yes, it is! All right, I'm gonna kill one person. Just now, one. Just, just let me have this one. Come on, now that you mention it, just remembered something too. What was it? I was passing Komagata High School a little while ago when I saw someone. Kill him! Kill him! A janitor, I think, and I and I could have sworn he reminded me of Fumichika Nejima. Oh? He looked a little different after twenty years. Much thinner than I remember, too. I told myself I was just seeing things. Yeah, you saw murder. But perhaps... Perhaps it was him after all. <sighs> so, what's next? Big question now is what the rest of the Curse Bearers are up to. Luckily, the Sumida River is a good distance from any of the Seven Mysteries. It's unlikely the other Curse Bearers will come all the way here. I can finally have a moment to think. I see. Alright. Oh, then we're done here. We cannot, oh! we cannot progress any further. We need to do other stories for other characters before we can come back here. Interesting. So. Okay. I was wondering now, how they were going to do that. And the thing is, the game the game has to tell you to suspend. You can't just back out and go, oh, that means that you've done everything you can here and you've triggered flags, and now the game is like, okay, we'll just put a pin in that. We can move on to our last story of the night. Tetsuo Tsutsumi's Crime Scene Investigation. Here we go. Hmm. Tetsuo Tsutsumi, Chief Inspector of the Metropolitan Police Department, 1st Investigative Division, is investigating the mysterious death of a fellow officer. He visits the scene of the incident, the former Yasuda Gardens, with his subordinate, Jun Erio. Let's go. See, this is the one I wanted to see, because these guys have a lot more intrigue to work with. I, th I like the grieving mother. She's, no, she's I, got, she's I got definitely the, like that. The sheer pain of her story is just absolutely captivating. The main thing I want to see from this is that one of them is actually a curse bearer. I think that would be the best. Hey, boss. Forensics is all done. The crime scene is clean. The other officers have all gone home. It's just us now. The park should be uh, able to open back up tomorrow like nothing ever happened. I doubt it'll get many visitors after everything that's happened. Oh, she had better to get it. You'd be surprised. Lots of people love that kind of thing. I bet they'll be lining up to get in. A call stuff is really popular right now. Did you not know that, boss? Yeah, sounds stupid. 
Well, you're stupid. It's not exactly rooted in science, but... If ghosts really did exist, we could just ask them who the perp is. Somehow I doubt it'd be that simple. Well, you know, I've heard that high school girls are really into the star board these days. Supposedly, you can call in spirits and talk to them by using a board with letters on it. Wouldn't that be something? You can try it out yourself if you're so interested. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Let's give it a go sometime, boss. What now? Stop messing around! You really think we're gonna solve this case by moving a coin across a scrap of paper? I ain't touching no Ouija board. Oh, it sounds like you know what about it. We gotta be open-minded. What if that's how police work is gonna be from now on? Oh my god. Don't make me laugh. Yeah, that's a bit too much. Listen up, Ario. Ooh? You can't go blaming the death of your buddy on something like the occult. Ooh, mm, I don't care if it was ghosts or the occult or what. Whoever or whatever it was that did this. I'll get them. I promise you that. Well, you've got the right attitude, but we don't even know if this is a murder yet. Bias is weak in our judgment. Get too fixated on one thing and you stop seeing everything else. Aye aye, boss. No, that's not an order. I, I, that's what you... That's so, that's now that we've finished investigating the scene, let's review what we know. Home? No, it's getting late. I figured we'd head straight home from here. <laughs> Come on, we've got to go all over the info we've gathered. More expeditions will dump for, for here because we're entering the story too. And what better place to do that than here at the scene of the crime where we could soak up the atmosphere, yeah! Soak up this. Yeah, soak up the atmosphere? The hell is there to soak up? You must be really into this occult stuff if you get off on being in a place like this. <laughs> then it just starts raining. <laughs> Torrential. Wait, you mean being somewhere like this doesn't get your blood pumping? No way! No, no, don't turn this around on me. I'm not the weird one here. Cripes. My name's Ario. Uh, fine, let's get this over with. Aye aye, boss! Okay, let's uh, talk to this guy. Talk to Ario. About, about the case. So, early in the morning yesterday... Oh, a staff member found the victim collapsed here in the park and called the police when they realized he was dead. While there were no obvious external wounds... The fact that he was a police officer and the evidence of a struggle means it's likely that this was a murder. And maybe he went to my old al alma mater. That's uh, Ohio State, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big O. The Sumita office sent it over to us since it involved the death of an officer, and we were tasked with the investigation. What we need to do is figure out what happened and whether there was foul play involved. I think that's about sums it up. Or maybe he died of a broken heart? I don't know. All right. Uh, let's talk about the victim. The victim is Hajime Yoshima, Yoshimi, of the Juvenile Division of the Sumi, Sumida City Community Safety Talk Bureau. Talk Ario, come on! Wow. 27 years old, single. 27, club. He mostly dealt with cases involving juveniles and education. His rank was senior police officer. Dealing with juveniles and education, you say? You knew him well, didn't you? What was he like? He was an asshole. Yes, we were in the academy together. We still went out for drinks together every month or two. Oh, wow, that really tells you how old this game is. Wow, You're, what a the, hairstyle. The era it's going for, yep. wow. He could be a little rowdy, but he was like a big brother to us all. He was kind and cared about his friends. I forget what that term is called, but that, that kind of punk character. Yep. Kuwabara, I, mean, I got that hair. A Yonki, I think. For better or worse, he wasn't the uptight type of cop. Chimpita, maybe? No, maybe. The man always showed up, showed empathy, and I heard he was popular with the locals for it. He treated each and every troubled kid he met with compassion. He had a great track record when it came to rehabilitation. Oh, kiss already. He's getting closer to Sounds me. Sounds like we lost a good one. Yes, we did. We truly did. I knew being a cop was dangerous. I knew something like this could happen, but... It's never easy when it happens for real. I know the feeling. He didn't seem to care much about climbing the ranks, but he was one—he uh, was at the top of our class. Only problem was that he took on so much, he had the most unfinished paperwork, too. I always felt we'd need an unusual guy like him to help us solve our unusual cases. Person of interest. Uh, don't worry. You're plenty unusual yourself. We 
I was the most normal of my classmates! Besides, the real weirdo among us could have got away a long time ago. There was one even weirder than you? No, find, blow captain! I find that hard to believe. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do all your good stuff of your my boy. What are you talking about? The Rise Ray Resurrection that everyone's talking about. No, not you two. I've been hearing about that shit everywhere. Oh, you have? That's surprising. Yeah, who cares what people are talking about? It's got nothing to do with our job. But don't you think the occult stuff with this case feels, I don't know, realer somehow? The whole thing that started right here in Hanjo in Sumida City. So I thought that maybe... Cut it out. Nothing good can come of getting involved with that right of whatever, that record of fates. Sounds like you know all about it. Boss, are you secretly into the occult? Stop that. Seriously, this isn't a joke. I get why you'd be intrigued by something called the Rite of Resurrection after a buddy of yours died, but... Bringing the dead back to life. It's the stuff of fantasy. It's not real. Ooh. So don't go hoping for miracles. Ooh. Got it? But either way... I'm so glad you're back in the First Division, boss. I've always admired your work. You were like a god to me. You were the whole reason I became a detective in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about that. People have been saying that there's... That ever since you first entered the Academy... People have been saying that ever since you first entered the Academy, but... Yes, that's because it's true! I couldn't believe you got transferred out of the First just as I was assigned to it. So getting to work a case like this now, just the two of us, is a dream come true. Happy as I am to hear that, uh... I hate you. Well, how should I put it? Um, what is it? Uh, if that's true, I'm not sure you've been showing me the appropriate amount of respect. <laughs> oh my god, he's asking for a pedestal. Huh? But I do respect you! Don't tell me you've, you're going to see plus! That's exactly what I'm talking about, when you run your mouth like that! It's getting late. You must be sleepy. Don't worry, Mr. Cranky Pants. I'll make sure we get out of here soon. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> and, he, and he accepts it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, only if, only if it's soon. Anyway. I've been one uh, wowed by your shrewd detecting abilities all day today. Oh, really? Funny, I've been wowed by you, too. The hell does that mean, boss? D I've been wet. Okay. Uh, cause, cause of death? death yeah. yeah. I should have called you dead. We would know what you thought you were doing. I love this gag. <laughs> it's so stupid, but I love it. From what we've seen, though, it appeared to be some kind of acute heart failure. Somebody wrote in a death note. I guess. But since he had It's no one of the seven mysteries! Oh! Oh my god. Uh, chronic illness, he had no visible wounds. It's possible that poison or drugs could have been involved. Dying in the middle of the park like that? Certainly seems suspicious. We found signs of a struggle at the scene, as well as footprints belonging to an unidentified individual. We've got people trying to identify those footprints. We can find who they belong to. We might be able to figure out this we might be able to figure this whole thing out. You mean finding the perpetrator will solve the crime? Wow, you're a great detective! Sounds crazy, but it just might work. Wouldn't it be nice if it were the end of it? The only things Hajime had on him were his badge and his wallet in his pockets. So we can rule out a mugging. Though there probably aren't many people who'd think to try mugging a cop as big as him. I've also heard that Hajime got in a fair few fights in his younger days. He started judo once he became an officer and rose up the ranks quickly. Yeah. Sounds like the perp would have had to have been pretty strong to take on Hajime. Hmm. Assuming it wasn't attacked. Time of death was around 11 p.m. two days ago, outside of the park's operating hours, of course. His body was found early in the morning yesterday. 11 p.m. Day before yesterday. This who's, is who's what Hajime, I said. What was Hajime doing out here at that time in the first place? That's the question, isn't it? The entrance to the park is closed after hours, <laughs> but it's a small gun to be very easy for you to get through if you really want to do. Though, that would, of course, be breaking and entering, but what do you think, boss? It's like it's like one line like, one line like this, and then right now, what do you think, boss? <laughs> Someone called him here. Yep, definitely. 
it's hard to imagine a cop like Hajime would trespass for no reason. Since it seems like someone else was here with him, could they have called him here? Oh, that does seem likely. They must have been talking about something pretty sensitive to come here in the middle of the night. So Hajime met someone here to discuss something in secret. And then, they got into a fight? No, that wouldn't match the cause of death. There were no wounds on the body that would indicate a spontaneous scuffle. The perp must have planned something. Then you think it was meditated? That would mean... They called Hajime to the park with the intent to kill him. Well, there is still a possibility that it was just some kind of accident. Maybe the perp tried to threaten Hajime and things went south from there. Yeah, a pound of coke fell down his esophagus. We should be able to get a clearer picture once we know exactly what killed him. Right! Oh, how Good. much more? Uh, how much more? Damn it, why are you showing the... <laughs> It's about, 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 about the victim. Yeah. Hajime was quite the bad boy in school, apparently. <laughs> he ended up with the police a lot. <laughs> he said the officer in charge was good to him. <laughs> Helped him get back on track. <laughs> Stop it. The reason he wanted to become a cop was to pay his kindness forward. Said it was the first time he ever took his studies seriously. That's a good story. Love that kind of thing. Makes me want to have a drink in his honor. Please don't make fun of my dead friend. Hey, I said in his honor. She aspired to become the kind of cop people miss when they die in the field. You say that like it's a sure thing I'll die. Oh, you are- I don't see you surviving past <laughs> the, the next couple panels. Besides, if I end up biting it, I'm sure you'll be the one who misses me most, boss. Hey... Come on, don't be like that. You'll hurt morale. Who the hell's morale? Well, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess how much I'll miss you depends on how this investigation goes. <laughs> I can already see it. Ario, no! Why'd you have to go and get yourself killed? I have no idea what's going on in that head of yours. Yeah, that'll be a sight to see. I can't wait. Can't wait for your own death? Get it together, kid. Sheesh, you really are something. Thank you? Yeah, definitely something. About the case. About the case. But, uh, boss? Yeah? Is this case really important enough to assign to someone from the investigation division? I mean, a friend of mine died, so it's important to me, but... It's all up to the higher-ups. I'm sure they got their reasons. Boss, you know something, don't you? It'll all become clear in time. Try not to worry about it too much. Hmm... Thinking about it... The only thing we know for sure is the identity of the victim. That means there must have been something special about him, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe he knew something he wasn't supposed to. Some kind of secret or something. Isn't that right? You're pretty sharp sometimes, you know that? If you picked up on that, you should be able to pull the rest together yourself. Mm, my hand hurts from slamming it on an invisible table. Well, it is our duty to get to the bottom of a suspicious death, especially one involving an officer. Yeah, this is old visual novel stuff, you gotta, you know, just keep doing it until all the checks, and, you know, some checks will check other checks, and checking out checks, check, 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 check. What about, <clears throat> what about the victim's family? <laughs> the Yoshimi family is from Kitasenju in Adachi City, but Hajime's parents died a long time ago. He lived there all alone, no siblings or anything. I went to his house a few times for drinks. I was surprised. It's this huge, old-looking place. Like, you know, the kind of place that seems super haunted. And he lived there alone? He looked like some of an old noble family. <laughs> it was hard to imagine him being such a delinquent living in a house like that. There's that bias I was talking about. If he's from an old family, I'm sure things were complicated. That's a bias, too. He never talked about any of that, even when we were drunk, so I don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more thing. Yeah. He was also into the occult. Oh my god, he was engaged! He's been seeing his fiance ever since they were in school, over ten years. They had just started talking about getting married. What was her name again? Oh, come on! She was beautiful! That's so. How terrible for her. 
Give me a name. But she may know if there'd been anything going on with him lately. We should speak to her. Give me a name. His fiance may have been his only confidant. I'm sure someone at Sumida Police Department has already contacted her. I'll look into it tomorrow. We'll put that into our Rolodex of things to remember then. Yes, put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. Ah, hey boss. I looked into the case the Hajime was running. Oh, great. That's the kind of stuff I want to know. What was Hajime working on the day he died? Well, according to his report from the day before, he had two cases involving juveniles. Uh-huh, as his, as his field. Mm-hmm. The first was the suicide of a high school girl who jumped off a building in Kamizawa River uh, last week. Ha! Look at that! Oh, uh, yeah, I did hear about that. I heard about Whoa! that, too! Whoa! The girl's name was Michio Shira, uh, Shiraishi. Uh, she was a second-year student at Komagata High School. But it seems as though Hajime had uh, had had contact with her even before this instant incident. Hmm. So she'd been in trouble for some time. That's the thing. About a month ago, he happened to see her walking around town. She looked upset, so he struck up a conversation with her. He was sure there was something bothering her, but she wouldn't tell him what. Uh, must have been trouble at home. That said, there was no problem, so there was nothing else he could do. And now she's dead. Hmm. Then it's possible he could have prevented her suicide, then. He must have been devastated. And that's why he was looking into this Michio Shiraishi again. He must have thought that something terrible had happened that drove her to end her life. But ultimately, he never reported the findings of his investigation. I see. And you're thinking that it may have had something to do with his death. We'll have to find out what it is Hajime discovered. Right. Let's check with the Sumida Police Department about that tomorrow, too. What was the other thing? Oh, Dan. What was the other case he was working <laughs> on? This one is also related to Komagata High, uh, high Student. Blah, 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 blah. A troublemaker named Hitomi Okuda. She seems to be the leader of a group of kids who get up to no good. Uh, juvenile delinquency. Fun. Ah, uh, those are the days. She, yeah, <laughs> I remember it. She was pretty bad for a while. Multiple charges of destruction of property, assault and battery, you name it. Uh, murder. Hajime had been working on her for about six months. She was finally starting to open up. Then, he met with the girl the day he died. Well, every school's got its problems. But, but I'm sure he'd be worried about how she'd get on without him. Right. Just when she'd finally found an adult she could trust. She might act out without someone to help her get through this. We'll have to make sure the Sumida Community Safety Bureau does their job. But... Hmm? We can't rule out the possibility that meeting with this delinquent girl had something to do with his death. Ooh. Then we'll have to interview her, too. Interesting. Ah, yes, you're right. <laughs> no, I understand what he just mean that along. Who knows if they'll actually let us talk with her. That's what we hired you for. Lay a little boyish charm on them if they need convincing. Hey. Oh, yeah. Watch it. I'm still your superior. You ought to act like you respect me at least. You were? Shit, is that just how your generation <laughs> speaks? You really are a new breed. Ooh. Eh, it's probably just me, actually. Yeah, well, don't think you can get away with that with other people. So, anyways, boss. D were you even listening? <laughs> About those murders, we got quite a bit to look into tomorrow. First, the two Komagata High School cases that Hajime was handling. And we need to speak with his fiance as well. I believe that's it for tomorrow. There right. we go. Updated. And now talk about me. I you talk about your family. What you like, boy? The hell is wrong with you? Prying into my personal life all of a sudden? It's just I've never heard you talk about them or anything. No, oh, are you single? Shut it. That's none of your business. Why are you trying to avoid? I've been thinking! 
Did you put a really important or your office or your boring? I wonder why that is. You don't say anything like that, though. How should I know? I came to the I came to the pressure myself and got married twice some years ago. It looks like he's staring at the audience. What? Huh? I didn't ask the question, so man. Then... I, don't, I don't care. God, you're relentless. She took our daughter and left four years ago. Oh. Thanks for reminding me. Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't believe she'd give up a guy like you. Do you want to die? <laughs> yeah. I was never home much. Too focused on work. I come home late only to get called right back out again. Plus, being a cop is dangerous work. I don't blame her for getting fed up with it all. How sad. Especially when you're out here putting your life on the line. <gasps> oh, is that why you transfer it out of the first? <sighs> it was already too late by then. You better be careful, Ario. You, oh. you say that, but there's not much I can do, is there? That's the nature of our job. You don't mean you going on really on your dad, you're doing all the police work, and just we need you so much away. The joy on your face when you do that, though. It's how I can mold my face into that stupid look. But wait, you have a daughter, boss? Do you really think I want to talk about her after all that? Ooh. Have some sense. Oh my god, I'm putting it together. Come on, I promise I don't mean this uh, the way it sounds, but how old is she? Jeez, you don't know when to quit, do you? At least try not to look so intrigued. She's, well, she's a bit rough around the edges. I think most men are intimidated by her. Last I heard, she's living by herself and going to college. Oh, damn. Okay. I, I thought of something else. Wow, a college student? Men love an educated lady. Stop that. What kind of cop are you making baseless assumptions like that? She's dumb as bricks. <laughs> <laughs> she's living on her own, though, huh? You must worry about her. Worry? I don't even know where she lives! So, so actually very worried, yeah. Oh, so she hasn't told you. Probably because she knows you follow her around everywhere. I would not, I don't think. I don't think either. Come on now, we both know that's not true. Listen here. You may look like an old mean man, but you sure have a soft side. What? Is that supposed to be a compliment? I can't keep up with you. Keep up, old man. We're done talking about this. Okay! <laughs> Even more. Ah! Oh, that reminds me. Don't you have a hernia? <laughs> <laughs> if you got married 20 years ago, it must have been right about that. There we go. That's uh, the point of all this. Yeah, okay. Around the time of the Min Nijima murder. You know, you, you know your history. Yeah, that happened a year or two after our wedding. Ouch. You were the one who arrested the kid. Oh, Weren't you? We studied that case in the together. academy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was only in elementary school at the time, but I still remember people talking about some cr dangerous criminal getting arrested. Oh, that was just... Cracking the case, finding the guy, was all just happenstance. I'd really rather not talk about it, you was a disturbing case. <laughs> did it not make your skin crawl when you heard about it at the academy? <laughs> it did, we were all terrified. Sounds about right. <laughs> no one can you believe that such a mild naughty man could have committed such a terrible murder. If we had overlooked one little thing, we may have never caught him at all. I think I remember hearing that was only there was only one charge brought against him in the end? That's right. We didn't have the evidence. I knew there was no way such a meticulously planned crime could have been there first, but we may have stuck Fumichi on Nejima in a cell, but it was no victory. He always had the upper hand. And all the damage he did to everyone involved, especially the victim's classmates. It already been 20 years, huh? God damn it. This is why I try not to think about it. Lights a cigarette. <sighs> I'm sorry. <coughs> so, I, I think he's the one that sent the note to, uh... Oh, I've already forgotten her name, I'm so sorry. Shigi uh, Shigima? Uh, yes. To Haraway, yes. Haraway, excuse me. Uh, property number is uh, not sold around this time of night. It's, it's uh, empty here tonight. Hey, look at that, it's empty. Put it in the files. Is there anything else that we need to look around at? There's this, the scene we can look at. Wow, look at that victim line. It was found, yep. It's clean. Oh, it's clean, okay, it's after the fact. Nothing happened here at all. Once an incident like this has come to pass, there's no going back. Okay. There was a murder here! Don't yep. forget, there was a murder here! Murder, were murdered. right here! Murder, we right DDR. here! We still got... Uh, we so, uh, let's talk look to at him shirt. Now. Let's look at him now. Hey, look at that! Dude, he's, he's a young idiot. Detective in the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. First he's a sergeant? He's a sergeant. Ooh, wow. 
This is his first time leading a case. It's like he's graduated from rookie to newbie. <laughs> he looks put together on the outside, but acts like a kid most of the time. <laughs> Old man still Honest, got it. <laughs> honestly, the Force could use more people like him. Oh, he likes ah, him. He likes we him. Well, boss, I think that about does it. Right. Let's call it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, ah! Whoa! Oh, God, what is that? Whoa! My boss was right. <laughs> Uh, uh, damn it! It was that case all along! Boss? What is it? Is there something over there? Ah! Such deep sorrow! A resentful memory is falling into my mind! Those who decide with falsehoods and that tell them forever in eternal darkness! Sanity's Requiem! Kill them! Kill them! Those who spread lies! Kill them all! You've yes. acquired the power to the curse of the Evergreen Beach! Yes, 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 You can yes. use it to kill those who <gasps> intentionally try to mislead you! Ooh. Press the use curse button when someone lies to you! Yes! Files updated! Oh no! Gotta say, worth the fucking Murderous slow burn. impulse seeps into my soul like thick black tar! There it is again, yes. Oh, we begin this episode with a curse, we end this episode with a curse. Now, kill! Can you hear it, Curse Bearer? You who so strongly desires the right. Kill them. Ooh, yes! Great. Ugh, another demon. Boss! Boss! Oh, my Bichier showed it. <clears throat> Whoa, boss, what the matter? Don't tell me you really want to die, all. Sorry. I'm fine. Nap attack. Ariel. Yes? I have some bad news. I'm cursed. Oh no, your senility is kicking in, isn't it? No. We've got a bit of trouble on our hands. Looks like we'll be working some overtime. <gasps> We're not going home tonight. Has this happened before? Huh? What are you talking about? Do, 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 oh do, do, my do, god, has oh, this happened oh. before? Well, ah, that's cool. Well, that's where I gotta leave you folks for tonight. So stay tuned tomorrow, where we pick up on Tetsuo Tsutsumi's story for the hunt for the curse bearers, and we'll be diving into Yako's story as well, the spirit board. Yee. Yes, with the coin and the, and the lighters the and all board. that. Yeah, the Ouija board, yes. yes. More terror and shocks and curses are in store! See you next time! <laughs> <laughs>